Footballers can have a surprising life outside of sport. When they are on a football pitch, they are athletes. When they are off it, they can be whatever they want. Many professional footballers have become entrepreneurs and business leaders using their transferable skills as a springboard to success in other fields. Here are 22 savvy footballers who made smart business moves before their playing days were over. Number 22. Pele. It's only right to start with one of the most legendary players that the world has ever seen. Brazilian superstar Pele has his own charitable foundation, aptly named the Pele Foundation, and has made goodwill work a key part of his life after football. He also has a range of best-selling Latin America coffee called Cafe Pele in his portfolio. Number 21. Mark Pugh. Mark Pugh is the perfect example of how to turn your passion into profit. And he did it twice. First, by chasing his dream of becoming a professional footballer, he made his way through the Conference League all the way up to the Premier League. His hard work, winning mentality and proper nutrition helped him play over 500 official games. He also stayed injury free for most of his career. It was the passion for cooking and nutrition that became his post-football source of income. Mark Pugh, aka the foodie footballer, is now an online health coach, runs workshops for football clubs and works with clients one-on-one -on -one through his own app. Number 20. Raheem Sterling Tricky winger Raheem Sterling has forged a side hustle in the clothing market with his brand 1692. The brand sells premium priced garments and is deeply rooted in his Jamaican heritage, taking its name from the year that the island of Jamaica was devastated by a huge earthquake. But Clothing Venture is a part of a bigger plan to help young people with education, employability and social mobility through the Rahim Sterling Foundation. Number 19. Gerard Piquet Gerard Piquet is not only one of the best centre-backs to have graced the footballing world over the last decade, but is also a pretty savvy entrepreneur. His main investment is in Cosmos Global Capital. Cosmos is a sports and media holding company that aims to bring audiences closer together through innovation in the media space. The company comprises Cosmos Tennis, Cosmos Studios and Cosmos Football the latter holding a controlling state in Spanish side FC Andorra. Number 18. Sergio Aguero One of the most heartbreaking moments in football has been the forced retirement of Argentine striker Sergio Aguero. Thankfully, Man City legend has plenty to do after football. He's the CEO of Crew Esports, an Argentinian gaming team. Sergio Aguero doesn't follow the typical business paths that many footballers choose to go into, whereas fashion, media and food seem to be key areas of interest for entrepreneurial footballers, his esports venture is pretty unique. Number 17. Oliver Kahn Goalkeeping extraordinaire, CEO of Bayern Munich with an MBA under his belt, Oliver Kahn has made a seamless transition from football on the pitch to football off it. Succeeding Karl-Heinz Rummenigge in July 2021, Kahn's intimate knowledge of the club and his promise to retain the open-door policy of his predecessor implies a strong, personal style of leadership that Kahn's practices at Bayern. Number 16. Edwin van der Sar Sticking with goalkeepers to an businessman, ex-Manchester United goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar took the reins as CEO at Ajax Amsterdam, one of his other former clubs, in 2016 after a stint as the club's marketing director. In his life after football, van der Sar's football business acumen is established in a raw experience rather than qualifications. That being said, Ajax have remained a European footballing powerhouse. The club continues to churn out exciting young players at an impressive rate and it's likely that van der Sar's leadership of the club is conducive to this. Number 15. Harry Kane As well as owning a holding company that manages his commercial interest, HK28, Harry Kane seems to be equally profiling on and off the pitch when it comes to investments. He is also a listed director of Edwards James Investments Limited, 
with recent company's house documents revealing that the company holds 10 million in investments properties. Number 14. Mesut Ozil As well as being an undoubtedly talented player who perhaps never quite got the rub of the green, Mesut Ozil has also been noted for his charity work. However, Ezil has most definitely been successful in his for-profit work too. His streetwear brand M10 turned over £1 million in its first year and the German also has investments in cosmetic brands, a chain of coffee shops and is about to launch his own football boot brand in Southeast Asia. Life after football shouldn't be a problem for him. Number 13. Lukas Podolski like Ezil, German forward Lukas Podolski has a varied of fairly eclectic mix of corporate dealings. Beginning with his food ventures, Podolski owns a string of sheep kebab shops across Germany under the brand Mangal Donner. His gastronomic investments span the entire food spectrum, with the kebab venture balanced out nicely by a range of superfood smoothies branded My Shot. Ice cream is also on the menu for Podolski. With his life after football seemingly very much rooted in the food industry, Ice Cream United was created out of a joint venture between Podolski and Ice Cream Supreme's the Gaia family, who actually founded Germany's very first ice cream parlor back in 1950s. Away from food, Podolski also owns a streetwear brand called Strassenkicker, which translates to street football in English. Number 12. Lionel Messi the world's greatest footballer isn't just a wizard on the pitch. Lionel Messi's celebrity status has guaranteed him a life after football in which money will be no object. However, that doesn't mean that the Argentine has shielded away from investing in business interests. Alongside merchandise ranges and hotels, the most interesting venture in Messi's portfolio is the Messiverse. In August 2021, Messi launched a range of NFTs with Eternity, an NFT market. This venture is perhaps the riskiest on our list, but undoubtedly the most innovative and has the potential to make Messi astronomical sums in the future. So this is our first 11. Before we move on to the next football businessman, I'd like to let you know about the free branding resources we at Jax Branding have prepared for you. Visit our website jaxbranding.com to get access and a detailed report on how to take your brand to the next level. Enjoy! Number 11. Ryan Bertrand Ryan Bertrand might not be as big a name as Lionel Messi, but his business acumen is amongst football's top tier. Bertrand has been preparing for life after football with a string of different ventures. In 2015, he launched the innovative fintech startup Silicon Markets. Despite being an online forex trading platform at its most basic, Silicon goes further than that. Its technologies allow users to create custom trading algorithms and strategies to trade with, and the company has partnered with several reputable brokers. Number 10. Gennaro Gattuso When he was a child, Gennaro Gattuso's lifelong dream wasn't that of entertaining thousands in the world's biggest football games. He was fishing? In 2013, Gattuso and his friend Andrea Bianchi opened a fish shop and restaurant in Italy. Despite Italy's saturated culinary scene, the venture is still going today. Gattuso's venture proves that often following your passion will naturally bring success, no matter how abstract it is. Number 9. Matteo Flamini It's crazy to find that Flamini's business career has made more money than his actual footballing career. Despite playing for the likes of Arsenal and AC Milan, Flamini is reported to have amassed quite a fortune from his business venture GF Biochemicals. Named after Flamini and his business partner Pasquale Granata, GF Biochemicals is a good example of a progressive business. They aim to find sustainable solutions to oil-based products for the benefit of the planet. Flamini is also involved in a performance supplements brand called Unity in association with ex-teammate Mesut Ozil. If there's anybody who understands life after football, it's Matteo Flamini. Number 8. Andrea Pirlo There can be no arguing against the fact that Andrea Pirlo is football's most stylish man. In stereotypically Italian fashion, Pirlo's main business interests lie in fashion and wine. 
Pirlo owns a vineyard in Italy, and a rather successful one too. But his earliest business venture was through his father's metal trading company, Elk Steel. A shareholder to this day, Pirlo has also expanded his interest in the wine industry. His vineyard is in fact rather successful, selling some 15,000 to 20,000 bottles a year. The Juventus legend has also been involved in a range of clothing campaigns in collaboration with Brunello Cuccinelli. Number 7. Philip Lam Although Lam's business dealings aren't as well documented as some of the other on our list, the ex-bayant stalwart right back has a keen eye for the corporate world and arguably took one of the biggest steps out of all the footballers in our list when he acquired a majority shareholding in health food company Schneekoppe. Schneekoppe produce organic foods such as muesli and other nutritional products and are one of Germany's most recognizable brands. Number 6. Christian Fuchs Christian Fuchs' branding is rather ingenious. He rose to true fame with Leicester City during the Premier League conquest in 2016. Playing on the expletive phrase, no fucks given, he tapped into the power of social media and virality with a hashtag that, quite literally, went viral. Hashtag no fucks given was quickly promoted online through Soccer AM and collaborations with popular YouTubers such as Woody and Claney. Funny videos such as Fuchs and ex Leicester teammate Danny Drinkwater doing challenges promoted the brand's presence, which has evolved into a clothing line portraying a be yourself message. The company has recently expanded into alcoholic drinks. Number 5. Clarence Seedorf. It's another legendary midfielder who comes in a fifth on our list, the Netherlands Clarence Seedorf. Playing for the likes of Real Madrid and AC Milan, Sidorf was considered one of the best midfielders of the modern age in the early 2000s. Whilst it was on the pitch that the Dutchman made his mark, his life after football has also been fruitful. A speaker of six languages, Sidorf was once quoted as saying, business is my PlayStation, with regard to how he likes to spend his free time. It seems as if he has made the right choice too. Owner of the Japanese restaurant chain Fingers, which he became during his playing days, Sidorf also doubles in sports management. Number 4. We have a duo, Gary Neville and Ryan Giggs, who have spent a considerable amount of time together both in and out of football. Making investments close to home, the pair were part of the Class of 92 consortium to both Salford City in 2014. In 2013, Neville and Giggs founded Gigi Hospitality, the holding company of their subsequent ventures including Hotel Football in Manchester and Cafe Football in Stratford, London. Gary Neville also founded Academy 92, an institute aiming to provide broader degrees for young people who would not traditionally have gone on to higher education. Number 3. Zlatan Ibrahimovic Maverick Swede Zlatan Ibrahimovic is one of the most infamous footballing legends of all time. Ibra is actively involved in business in a multitude of different forms and has ensured that he will be kept busy with his investments. In 2019, Zlatan purchased 23.5 of the shares in Swedish side Hammarby IF, a move which angered fans of his boyhood club Malmö FC. Other ventures have included clothing and fragrance brands. Number 2. Cristiano Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo is more than a footballer. He's essentially a living, breathing brand who most definitely doesn't need to worry about life after football. Ronaldo's talent is supreme, but he has also positively manipulated the cards he has been dealt, namely a photogenic face and unwavering coolness. Underwear, jeans, cars, hotels and aftershaves all sit under the iconic CR7 brand, one that does at the moment seem timeless. Number 1. David Beckham Whereas Cristiano Ronaldo is a living, breathing brand, David Beckham is practically a living, breathing conglomerate. Inter Miami, Salford City and the David Beckham Academy all continue his footballing legacy. Away from the beautiful game, you name it, Beckham has done it. Partnerships with Pepsi, Disney, Sky and EA Sports are only a few of the countless brand deals that Beckham and his wife, ex-Spice Girls member Victoria, have participated in. 
a visit to Afghanistan to support troop morale, as well as a prominent role in the London Olympics, have seen Beckham become the ultimate business tycoon. As you can see, success leaves clues, and start building your brand early is super important. So make sure you visit our website, jacksbranding.com, to get access to free branding resources and turn your brand into your empire right now.